Hi, this is Julie Campbell for Studio Calico, here to show you how I created this rocket spinner card for the September Gallery. And these are such fun cards to make, and they're perfect for little girls and boys because they have a really fun interactive element. For my card, I used the digital stamps found in the Studio Calico store, but you could also use the actual acrylic stamps. Those work fine too. So what I did was I opened up each individual image that I wanted to use on my card in my Photoshop element program. And I created a document that was the size of a card front, and I just resized all of the different shapes so that they would work well. Then I took a few of the shapes that I knew I wanted to print out and I placed those on a letter size document and printed those images. You don't have to leave these images black and white. You can also just go ahead and change the colors in Photoshop. Um, but I knew I wanted to use some pattern paper to add some color to my elements. So I just left my images in their natural state. So I opened up my Silhouette software and then opened the file that I had created earlier. So at this point I just need to create some cut lines, so I'm using the trace feature in the program to create cut lines for some of the different pieces. As I mentioned earlier, the acrylic stamps would work well for this card, but the planet, for example, would be too small to use. So you could actually just cut a circle out of cardstock and um, just continue with the card that way. So now I need to make some edits to some of the shapes. I don't want this ring on the planet, so I'm just using the eraser tool to get rid of that. And then I just need to clean up these images a little bit as well. Sometimes you have to tell the software to release the compound path to really get some of those elements separated from each other and then you can delete each individual piece. So these images are ready to cut. So now I need to create a separate file that just cuts the rings from the planet. So you can just use the circle tool in the program and create two circles that will create this ring. If you don't have a silhouette or if you're not really familiar with creating your own shapes, if you'd like, feel free to go ahead and just draw this ring onto pattern paper and then cut it by hand. So I'm just making a few more little adjustments. So at this point I'm ready to see the shape that I've created and I noticed that I've got a little narrowed section here on the bottom right corner so I'll just make some more adjustments. I'm actually using the negative space from this cut and I don't want to have that center of my sphere cut out. This will make more sense later when you see the cut piece of pattern paper but I am basically just removing a little section there at the top so that that little ring element will be cut from the pattern paper and it will just remain closer to the shape that I'm looking for. And I'm just creating a card shaped rectangle here so that I can go ahead and cut my pattern paper out at the same time that I'm cutting my ring. So here are the images that I had printed out earlier and I cut them out and then used my Copic markers to add some color to the rocket ship. And here is the rocket ship that I cut using the Cameo and also a little piece of vellum for the exhaust from the rocket. I cut the planet from cardstock and this is the shape that I was referring to earlier. So as you can see, the center of that ring did not get cut from the pattern paper. So now I just want to adhere that rocket ship that I cut from pattern paper onto the original piece that I printed from my computer. And I'm just using a sticker maker to make it a little bit easier. So I'll just adhere that in place. And then I also 
adhered the piece of vellum at the base. So now we're going to create the spinner card and I have a little piece of foam adhesive and I'm noticing that I actually cut my ring a little too narrow. It needs to be wide enough so that your piece of foam can easily slide all around. So I'm just taking my scissors and making that shape a little wider. So you'll need two pennies. So I'm just placing one behind my pattern paper, placing a piece of foam inside that little open section, and then placing a second penny on top. So that creates your penny slider. So now I'm just taking a piece of foam and adhering the rocket on top. I am now adding the sentiment that I had printed off earlier. So I'm just adhering that to the bottom of the card front. And next I'm going to adhere the planet. So just make sure that you use plenty of adhesive. You want to make sure that the rocket doesn't catch onto the cardstock as it's moving along that track. So just make sure that the sections that are near the cutout are nice and adhered. So I'm placing my card front onto a card base and to do that I need to add foam so that the slider has plenty of space to be able to move freely. So I'm just adding various pieces of foam but I'm also making sure that I'm not placing them close enough to my pennies so that my path is still open and the slider can still move freely. So at this point, I'm just adhering my card front onto the card base. And just be aware that the card base does show through on that track that you created, so you might want to choose a color that's eye-pleasing. These cards are just so fun to create, and they're easy to customize too. On my original card, I added some yellow glitter and some silver brads and also some stars that are found in the card kit. So just be creative and add some different elements to make it your own. For more information, visit studiocalico.com.